Can anyone actually believe that we are at the end of the year? Because I definitely cannot. But we are. So we need to do a New Year's Eve look. And I'm actually going to do two this year. I'm going to do one cool tone leaning and one warm tone leaning so that depending on your preference, you have some inspo if you should need it for either which way. So today we're going to do cool toned and we're going to use Pat McGrath Labs Moonlit Seduction because it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I want to end the year on it. And that's what we're going to do. So a New Year's Eve look. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. New Year's Eve. Wow. This year feels like it's gone forever, but also like literally in the blink of an eye and I'm not sure what happened. Um, so I'm wearing my wig today. If you don't know, I suffer from hair loss and I wear alternative hair. So either a hair topper or a wig. And I thought we'd throw the wig on because why not? And I also put press on nails today because I couldn't be bothered painting my nails. And so they're super long, way longer than I normally do. I'm sharing this only because I feel like I'm going to stab myself either in the eye or in the face consistently throughout this video. So let's see how that goes. I have primed my lids using the Rare Beauty Eye Primer already. And the first um, shade that I'm actually going to dip into is this one right here from Moonlit Seduction. And I'm going to take it with an angled brush. This is an OH Cosmetics. Oh gosh, triple three angled brush. I'm going to start. I don't know how this is going to go. We're just going to, we're going to feel it out. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm not going to use that first. I'm actually going to take my Victoria Beckham Coco liner first. And I'm going to draw a wing on and then see how we go. So... Bear with me because sometimes I have to get real close and it can go in and out of focus. So just, just bear with me while I do this. I can't talk into it. So it's going to be a speak through. Okay, I don't know how much of that was caught on camera because I did have to get pretty close and they look really weird, probably wonky, not even all that kind of stuff right now, but that's okay because what we're going to do now is like complete the rest of the look and like finesse it all and then I've done my eyes first so I can strategically clean it all up and that kind of stuff. So don't panic about how it looks right now. It probably looks really messy. I'm going to take my Refa number 27 first. This has become such a favorite brush of mine, shan't lie. And we're going to dip into subliminal first. I'm going to dip into my favorite transition shade of all time, clearly, because it's almost gone. Uh, you can use any transition shade in your collection. You don't even have to use Moonlit Seduction or anything if you would like to follow along. Just like find colors within your collection that are similar. So I'm going to start by just lightly fluffing this through the crease and just creating the kind of shape that I want and going from there. I might zoom you guys in a little bit more, hopefully it's a little bit better. And this will probably look quite scary until the very end. <laughs> I was gonna go in with this shade next, but I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna actually use that over the top of the wing. So I will dip into subliminal again and use this shade because it's just a little bit lighter than the one that I'm gonna use on the wing so that it doesn't all mesh together and create like one shade. So just use like any kind of, all you want is like a transition shade, a medium shade, and then a darker shade if you're trying to follow along, but, you know. Um, also, these will not look perfect to each other because I have very different shaped eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to start by just buffing this through here. This is a Refa 14, if I didn't say it as well. Going very outside my comfort zone here. <laughs> so we'll see how this turns out, shall we? You just want to take your time with this as well. If you're in a rush, depending on how confident you feel with wings, you might not want to do this you could also skip the wing completely if you don't want to do a wing and just like do the exact same steps that I've done so far but just not with a wing so what I'm doing with this medium shade as well is just creating a bit of a faux crease for myself with my hooded eyes just a little bit of dimension I'm going to take my Pat Intensify stick and I'm just going to take a Refa 21 and apply it with this one because essentially I'm just going to create like a little bit of a cut crease. I just want to be able to strategically place 
the intensify stick almost like you would like a concealer with a cut crease so you could obviously just use that you don't even have to use it honestly it's up to you now we're finally going to dip into moonlit seduction and i'm going to go into this gun metal shade now i have a, this is a refer 28 by the way i have a heap and i mean a heap of looks using moonlit seduction on my channel so if you want other inspiration for this particular palette definitely go check them out i'll link my pat mcgrath labs playlist down below for you but yeah i've used like every single shade in this palette before on my channel for looks so you don't have to use and also this kind of foundation that i've laid down here you can honestly use any single one of these metallic shades in here you absolutely don't just have to use the gun metal you could just pick your favorite color in here if you are following along i will get a bit more chatty during the base makeup stage i just am trying to concentrate through this one <laughs> I want to add a little sparkle so I'm just going to take this shadow right here this is an it's my Ray Ray uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to tap tap and press now you could add even more sparkle to this by going in with like one of the white shades so for example you could go in with like this shade from subliminal or any of the shades like that in any of her motherships and it would add an extra bit of sparkle. Now I'm going to take a little pencil brush. This is a rougher number three and I'm going to go into this shadow right here in Moonlit Seduction and I'm just going to tap this, like kind of use it to just smoke out the wing again. I'm gonna leave eyeshadow here for now because it might need a little bit more finessing even just around the wing but I don't want to do that just yet because I'm gonna put foundation and everything on so it, just in case I accidentally disturb anything I just, I'm just gonna leave it here and then I can fix it so let's move on to our face for primer I'm going to take my milk makeup hydro grip because if I am going out on New Year's Eve and getting all glammed up then I want my makeup to last the whole night look truly honestly I don't do anything for New Year's I am of a very unpopular opinion I'm sure or a mixed I think it's actually probably more mixed these days where I just find New Year's kind of a little bit overrated like the whole like the night has to be perfect and you know blah 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 I enjoy my New Year's more now um, I'm just gonna take sorry as side detour pure 4-in-1 love your selfie foundation in the shade LN6 by the way everything will be linked down below this would be the foundation I would use because it's like matte and not going to budge and full coverage because at night you want to look flawless. Um, yeah, I enjoy our New Year's a lot more now. We kind of have this tradition with our friends, our like one of our best couple friends that we go to one of our houses and play board games and eat food and have a good old time. Our husbands usually drink a lot of whiskey and me and me and my friend we don't really the wives I should say I guess we don't drink alcohol really so we kind of have a drink and then we watch the blend our husbands just get a bit tipsy on whiskey which is hilarious and then we usually play Monopoly because it takes forever so you're gonna last the whole night to see midnight and it usually gets quite heated because we are all very competitive and all want to win and so we argue it out over Monopoly each year and I think we've actually had each I am, I'm pretty sure we've been doing this I think you now like four or five years and I'm pretty sure each of us have won so it's quite funny but yeah we we definitely uh battle it out over Monopoly and that's kind of kind of our tradition for for New Year's. None of you asked for that, but there you go, you got it. I prefer that because honestly, like those days of going out clubbing and all that kind of stuff are well and truly behind me. I never really super enjoyed it. I don't like crowds. Crowds are like my worst nightmare. So the fact that we stay home now is a dream. I'm gonna take my color corrector, Charlotte Tilbury. 
Oh gosh, I can't open this with these nails. There we go. Charlotte Tilbury. But tell me, what are you guys doing? Are you someone that likes to go out? Are you someone that likes to stay at home? Let me know. I would love to know what you guys are doing for New Year's. Are you unfortunately one of the poor souls that has to work because you might work in an industry that's open on New Year's? Especially like a bartender, my lord. Although, I guess if you get tips as a bartender working New Year's, oh my goodness. Especially if you worked as a bartender or something in like Las Vegas, I imagine you probably make an absolute killing. For concealer, I'm going to take my KVD Good Apple. I have two shades, triple one and one, two, two. One, together they make the great shade because I find this shade range quite difficult. When we were in Vegas, actually, this year, because we got married in Vegas, we eloped. We were talking to one of our Uber drivers. She was amazing. And she was saying how her brother was like the lead bartender or something at Omnia. And we'd been, we were actually going to Omnia. And she was saying he worked like four nights a week, which was, I think he worked like maybe Thursday to Sunday or something. So kind of crappy nights to work, but he made like, I'm sure she said over 150 US dollars a year, maybe even more than that, working those four nights a year. And that's it, like each week. Well, maybe it was even three nights, I can't remember, but it was like not a full work week. And yeah, he made that in tips, like it was insane. And I was just like, holy dooly, that is. Which I can get because, you know, people, one, there's a lot of rich people that would go and like splash out and all that kind of stuff. And then two, you know, people might win, win, win money and then splash out. And then also three, people would get really drunk and by that point have no idea what they're tipping. So I can also see that <laughs> happening. So yeah, so there you go. Fun little random story time for today. You never know what you're going to get in these chats because you never know what's going to pop into me brain. Uh, let's do cream contour. I'm going to take my Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in Nutcracker. I'm just gonna do one side at a time because it will dry down, especially on top of this matte foundation. It will dry down quite quickly. I, I find the best way to apply this is with a, sp uh, to, sorry, blend this out is with a sponge. I love the product, but you just need to be mindful because it will slightly lift your foundation if you're not careful too. But how has your 2022 been? I hope it's been nice to you. And if it hasn't, I hope that, well, I hope every single person, regardless of how this year was for you, <laughs> has a wonderful 2023. I think everyone deserves that after what we've been through, especially the last few years. But if you had a really bad year, I really hope especially you have a fantastic year next year. I feel like I had a really good year, if I'm honest. I do. I feel like I had a pretty darn good year. Um, I think, you know, I got married, which is awesome. I think that's pretty cool. Um, doing anything with these nails, just so you know, if I'm like spacey talking about here, I'm just trying to open things with these damn claws. I don't know how people with long nails, do, how did you, how do you do it? How do you do it? I guess you get used to it. I feel like that will be the answer. But anyway, uh, powder, I'm going to take my Westman Atelier Pink Bubble, Pink Bubble um, Powder. Yeah, I feel like this year was pretty good for me. I got married. We eloped, which was amazing. We got to travel. That was probably even more amazing. Don't tell my husband. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it was also a tough year. I lost four family members. So actually... I've lost more than that, but that was towards the end of last year. So st strictly speaking, I lost four this year. Um, so that was tough, you know, highs and lows. So I'll, I guess it's how you choose to look at it. You can only do what you can do. I'm very stoic. So for me, it's like, it is what it is. You can just, you just got to deal with it. But you know, highs and lows. Getting married was kind of awesome. I feel like for my channel, it's been an incredible, incredible year, like mind blowing year, which is exciting. I'm really excited to see what next year brings for my channel. I'm just gonna take off my foundation lips and put some of the CRT lip oil on. For the rest of my face powder, I'm gonna take the Kosas Breezy Cloud Set Powder. I'm just gonna take it on a little powder puff. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what next year is gonna bring for my channel. That's kind of awesome. You know, we're climbing towards 10K, so that's pretty cool. 
I really have worked incredibly hard on my channel this year and I've sacrificed a lot for my channel which is not an issue for me. I love doing it, but I definitely have sacrificed time with family and friends. I'm just gonna take my house labs bronzer. I've chosen to do that, so I'm okay with that decision, but you know, it's nice to see like hard work paying off and your love and like my love and passion, I guess, paying off as well, just for those sacrifices. You don't wanna like make those sacrifices and then look back and kind of regret it. So yeah, it's really nice. I am excited to see what next year brings for for Martina Lily for the channel. Thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed this year or any time. Thank you just for being here and watching my videos. It's kind of amazing. I'm just gonna actually take a little bit of my Kaleidos Contour Powder on a Delium Tools 942. Just a really small amount. It's really quite pigmented, so you just wanna be mindful. I'm just gonna contour just a little bit more. For liquid highlight, we're gonna use Crystal Nebula from Lisa Eldridge. Such a good highlighter, such a good highlighter. Another thing that actually happened to me this year was I got diagnosed with ADHD and I'm on my first week of medication when I film this. By the time you see it, it'll be like almost a month, I think. But um, already has changed my life. <laughs> like literally, I can't even describe the the clarity and the like I don't know I know some of you would absolutely have ADHD and I don't know if all ADHD is the same because I'm really still very new to this concept uh, I'm gonna take my house labs what's it called sunstone highlighter by the way I love this highlighter this is a delium tool nope this is a BK beauty 108 yeah I don't know if everyone's like ADHD is the same I feel like it's not but um Mine is like specifically, I find it really hard to concentrate and I feels like when I'm unmedicated, like my brain is like mushy fairy floss clouds and like I'm trying to like see and concentrate through those clouds kind of thing. And then as you go through the clouds, sparkly shiny things also pop in front of you and then you're just like trying to weave your way to the front of the clouds to see clearly and think clearly and then you keep getting distracted by shiny things that pop up in the clouds and then you can't see properly because you're in the clouds and I don't know I don't know if that makes sense to any of you. That's how I can best describe probably the most annoying trait for me for my ADHD. I'm gonna take uh, Victoria Beckham Playground for my cream blush and I'm just gonna take this on a marble brush from BH Cosmetics and just tap this here. So yeah, uh, but being on the medication it's like those clouds have cleared and I can just like focus. I'm not like doing, like if you see my computer when I am doing anything really, I've got like 7,000 tabs open. I'm jumping from thing to thing and I'm doing a million things at the same time. And yeah, I'm just really scattered and chaotic and <sighs> impulsive and I don't know. Lots of different things. And I don't think that my ADHD is a bad thing. I'm not ashamed of being ADHD. I'm really not because I think that a lot of my ADHD, one, it's just made me who I am. And I also think I've been able to work it to my favor. I think a lot of my creativity comes from ADHD. And I think the fact that I can, you know, hyper focus while doing my makeup and things that I love is also really cool to me. Um, but there's, there's definitely a lot of things that needed some help. <laughs> from it and they have certainly it's certainly definitely changed like my outlook it's it's quite intense i'm gonna take desert orchid from pat mcgrath labs for my blush so and I'm, i'd be interested to hear if you feel comfortable sharing any experiences you've had if you've been diagnosed obviously don't give away too much medical information or anything and only if you felt comfortable but yeah it would be interesting because i don't i only know um one other person that has ADHD actually and we're very similar. Let's finish this lower lash line. I'm just taking a Delium Tools triple seven shader brush. I'm gonna go into the transition shade from Subliminal. And then I'll just take a pencil brush and I'll go into this one from Subliminal. For any corner, I'm just gonna go into the champagne shade here. I was gonna go into the purple, but then I, I changed my mind. 
Okay, I'm going to go off camera now. I'm going to put some mascara and eyeliner and everything on. I'll tell you what I use when I get back and then we'll do lips and then we're nearly finished. For eyeliner, I put my Charlotte Tilbury black eyeliner on the top waterline. I put the Kaleidos Duo Chrome liner in Sea Sparkle, which is like a kind of silvery blue in the lower waterline. And I put my Tower 28 mascara on. And for lips, I mean, this look is screaming for Natasha Denona My Dream. I'm sorry, I can't stop, I won't stop. So I'm just gonna pop my Natasha Denona My Dream. Uh, well, I keep calling it My Dream, but it's, I need a nude lip crayon in Natasha and I need a nude, or My Dream lipstick, sorry, in Natasha. So I'm gonna put these on. The question is, do we want the gloss? And I think we do. So this is the Natasha gloss. Perfect. Absolutely perfect if you ask me. So let me go figure out, I've got my bathrobe on because I had no idea what I was going to do for a look and everything. So I'm going to go get dressed and like do my hair and stuff and we shall see what this ends up looking like because I've got no idea right now. <laughs> so uh, just a second. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I, well, I love the eyes. I feel like they turned out really, really well. Um, I can't get this dress like all the way zipped up on my own. So we're just going to pretend like it is dressed up, but it's just a little pink Zara dress. And yeah, if I was going to go out on New Year's Eve, this is this is exactly what I would probably wear. This is exactly how my eyes would look, everything. Like, I would wear these earrings, all of it. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy the New Year's Eve look one, the cool tone look? Happy New Year. If, you, if this is the last video you catch of mine, but if not, there will be one more video up tomorrow with a warm tone New Year's look. So, I hopefully see you there. And uh, if you're watching till this point, don't forget you're an absolute legend. I appreciate it so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.